Hello there. This is a video to try to answer the question that is expertly summed up by one person going by the name of Julian. After watching a lot of anime, depending on the demographic, a good chunk of it tends to take place in a high school setting, or the characters will not always range from the ages 14 to 17. This has led me to believe or assume writers of anime or Japanese fans think high school is the highlight of their lives and that they think and are already mature at that point in time. If this is true, why is that? High school here in America is arguably an important time in our lives, but things don't really happen for us when we, until after we get out of high school. When we go to get careers and jobs, but the way anime portrays it, it feels like there's nothing but a boring behind the desk corporate job that awaits us. Could that be true? Or is anime being all fiction just exaggerates on life after high school? So, We're going to look at some different takes on this, but also just off screen, I have a lot of uh, anime that I've collected over the years and well, manga also that I'll briefly summarize, which I guess spoilers, but um, to, uh, yeah, kind of like prove a point because I'm kind of an otaku, weeb, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, so the first is fleeting youth. If you know anything about Japan, you know that it changes frequently and everything is limited to a season. So if a fruit, veggie, or food is out of season, you are not going to be able to find it anywhere. It's just how it works. The most famous example of fleeting things in Japan is the cherry blossom. Sakura season whips the whole country into a frenzy with newscasters forecasting every and exactly when specific regions of the country will see the sakura in full bloom. Then companies begin to release anything and everything under the sun with sakura in it. Sakura beer, sakura ice cream, sakura tea. Sakura coffee, chips, daifuku, and many more soccer-themed items are um, released, but only for a limited time. What this means, then, is that these items are guaranteed to sell out since you can only enjoy them for a limited time. Once they're gone, they're gone, which leads people who miss out on it to re reminisce about that moment when they have ha had it and the experience is bittersweet. High school life is a lot like that. It's often the high point of most people's lives in Japan. So why high school though? In high school in Japan, your average student has their duties, but their friendships deepen and solidify. They're able to get part-time jobs and spend money on what they want. And they have freedom. Now in college, Japanese the Japanese people tend to lead very interesting and laid-back lives, but high school is what they often remember the most. It is full, fueled by experiences, hormones, emotions, and memories. Much like their Western counterparts, Japanese high school students often remember their high school days the most fondly. Because while college lets you have fun, it is in high school that many people start to learn who they are, and find their individuality. This is then rapidly crushed in Japanese society, which is rigid and does not encourage individuality slash freedom. Uh, so when you look at anime that have adults as a setting, it gets really hard to pick up shows that show anime characters outside of college and AKA adulting in the adult world, doing the adult thing. 
So one that I can like think of is Clan Ad, where like it starts in high school, the characters actually get married, finish high school, and start a family. But then it's like tragic. So yeah. Anyways, uh, one example of a character as a main character being an adult is Tatsu Hero from Welcome to the NHK. But there is a catch. Um, well, why is the main character of an anime an adult male? He needs to not be a functioning adult. He's a otaku, and uh, then another one is Moguro-san from the original Waru Salesman. He's the other kind of adult main character. He exerts to serve his own purposes, regardless of others. This leads to him being rather hurtful and harmful to those around him. Still an adult, even though he acts like a child or someone new to middle slash high school. Uh, there's also Arata from Re Life. He, he was too individualistic, quit jobs, and became a shut in. Um, but. So, this is more of a thing from the past, not really a more uh, current thing. It's just, you know, wanting the genre to evolve. And, like, I would argue that a lot of their audience is probably my age range. I happen to be 27, and um, I collect manga and anime mostly anime now but that's besides the point okay so here's another um take from a user on crunchyroll forums from april uh, 19th answering this question on a forum it may partly be because of demographic and marketing concerns but there are creative reasons to choose a school as one setting as well a big advantage that schools offer as a setting is that they're almost universally relatable since most people are expected to obtain at least some sort of formal education. Starting off with an assurance that your audience will already have a decent understanding of the structure and rules for your setting makes any alterations to these stand out more clearly without so much as need for an explanation. This in turn allows you to hit the ground running and dive straight into who your characters are, how they fit into the setting, how the changes you made affect them, and what your broader goals are for the characters and plot. Watching even a small handful of school anime should illustrate just how malleable the setting really is. Azumanga Daio and Angel Beats both confront similar subjects in similar settings, but approach both in significantly different ways. Azumanga Daio is focused upon the joys and frustrations and friendships people build while in school, more or less playing them straight with a healthy dose of comedic exaggeration. Angel Beats, by putting its school in a quasi-purgatory and carrying out its plot as it does, is more about the impermanence of school life and its friendships and the story asks tough questions about the audience's broader goals and expectations for them as people going forward. Both series are skull an anime, but they're also very different and examine very meaningful subjects. I would just like to say, like, I personally didn't really enjoy my high school time because I actually got picked on a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know crazy probably a very startling revelation but I went to a Catholic high school and <laughs> I just didn't fit in but hey that's that was my problem obviously but anyways as for the concern about saturation of anime plots of school this seems to be not as much of a big deal there's uh, 
working to explore teenagers' experiences as part-time employees looking to earn some spending money, Hikaru no Go, Genshiken, and Saki for indulging in games and hobby, to me, sports anime to name for athletics, Shiro Bako and MMO Junkie to look at adults' relationships with their jobs, Welcome to the NHK for Existential Crisis, brought to brought on by the pressures and expectations of modern life. The entire isekai genre for escaping self same pressures brought on by the pressures and expectations of modern life uh, da, 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 and expectations. Spice and Wolf for a fantastical exploration of trade and business. Giant robots struggling against one another in ever escalating battles and Gurren Lagan. It just goes on and on as Kami Sama so, so often says, watch more anime. Duh. Um, okay, so the answer to that original prompt, um, going back to that, uh, the person responding to this which I'll link down below if you want to read the article for yourself. Uh, first, I uh, should point out that Japan's obsession with high school extends well beyond anime. A good percentage of TV dramas take place at high school and involve teens. Same with movies. The pop idols that absorb a significant portion of Japan's acting roles end up playing high schoolers well into their late 20s. This is a genre of entertainment known as seishun or youth that kanji literally means green spring so like once again that uh in impermanence uh and that's how the culture views adolescence a fleeting beautiful time in which the foundation of one's life takes root and things start to sprout uh, it's basically the life trajectory of the soccer tree or cherry blossoms so um one one second i'm oh, sorry okay um so in persona five um i've played through this like this this is like the metal book edition this is royal i i love this game but you're a high schooler and your game orbits around the high school right so in the game you're tell me if this is true or not in the thing but you go to school monday through friday which is like uh, America, right? Where, um, at least for me, it was eight to three. And then, you know, like if your parents can you pick you up, you went directly from school to daycare. That was at least in uh, grade school, K through eight. And then in this, at least, you also have to go to classes on Saturday in the morning. So like it's a very academic, educational driven school, right? So um, uh, so going back to the Seishun uh, so many unexplainable Japanese quirks emerge from Japan's obsession with all things Seishun. The deep, unshakable love of cute, the high school uniform implied right there. Uh, da, 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 da. Teen idols, male and female, and the uh, ways they're photographed. Um, the thing is, if you ask someone who lives in Japan about these things, they tend not to notice them much at all. I mean, it's like America, right? Like, we're so attuned to 
Christian undertones and everything, or uh, firearms being everywhere, or, I mean, I guess it depends what part of the country you're in, but, you know, like, I, I recently just went to Canada, and, like, the culture there in Vancouver, and where I live in Denver, to me, was, like, night and day. It was, like, crazy. But, um, we'll put this over here. Blah. Um, sorry about the terrible lighting, by the way. But, um, um, so I, I, I really agree with this guy's thoughts on the whole thing, though. Personally, you can pay me enough money to go back and live my teen years over again. I, I really didn't like mine. Um, they were a hormone and depression fueled heck from which they could not escape. Life got way, way better afterwards. Um, while a good chunk of their favorite anime involved teenagers, they're tired of hearing the same stories about them over and over again. They're pushing 36 over here and can only marinate in that era of life for so long. But the daily grind for a Japanese salary man is pretty punishing with long hours next to no non-work related fratern fraternization, the stress of child rearing and all that. Many people do look back at those years fondly when choices were simpler, when you didn't have to worry so much about losing your job or keeping food on the table. When you already look cute without having to spend a fortune on cosmetic products and weight loss programs. When you had boundless energy, relative freedom, and an active social life. When you actually had time to hang out with friends. And the small things like your after school club and the school festival were such fun times in retrospect. The draw of nostalgia is strong in your daily life is stressful and your youth wasn't a sodden, uh, miserable heck scape. Um, ultimately, they compare Japan's obsession with Seishun to America and superheroes. If you look at the movies and TV shows you, we make, we're clearly obsessed with them, and that obsession is obviously pointing to something deeper. One wonders from the outside if we're all waiting for some deus ex machina figure to come along and save us all from our doom, or if we fantasize about becoming a normal person with daily like abilities ourselves. To me, I see more like with the firearm aspect and the whole religion trying to ham fist its way into our lives. But, okay, so we're going to move on to I have a stack of manga and I have a stack of anime that I'm going to briefly go over touching on each one okay so first one Bleach takes place in a high school he gains magical powers he meets his ultimately his wife Orohime this is a Chigo Kurosaki I mean when he's not fighting Soul Reapers or Hollows, he's in high school, right? Um, Dance in the Vampire Boon. This is a weird one. It still takes place in high school. Vampires come to Japan. But they live on an island off the coast of Tokyo and... They paid off Japan's debt, and this girl is, trust me, it gets a lot more risque than just this high school uniform thing. I would still recommend reading it. To me, it's a good series, but that's besides the point. Okay, um, Naruto. It doesn't stay there for long, but they there is a... They are high school age and, you know, 
he starts on a, out in a school and, you know, um, I mean, he, you know, it says right there, he starts out in a ninja academy, you know, teenage years. Rosario plus vampire, another anime slash manga that takes place in high school. I don't even remember this clown's name, but he's the main character, and this is Mocha. She has a split personality where if you take off her Rosario, that, like, seals in her um, vampire self. That's a weird one. Here's another one. Really stinking weird. Nagiba. Um, this clown, he's like uh, 10 years old. Starts teaching a class of high school girls that their ages seem to be all over the place. It seems more like a boarding school or something. By the way, the story's awful, like the first half. But I guess you would need to read the first half to understand what the hell is going on in the later half. But, oh my God, this is terrible. Um, but once again, it takes place in a high school. Um, Inuyasha. This is the final book. I actually bought this at the airport, right on the um, plane over to Vancouver. Okay, so Inuyasha, well, the main character is Kagome. She's a high schooler. She finds a magical well, travels back 500 years, meets her love interest, Inuyasha, that seems to be like a, their relationship isn't healthy at all, but... Um, Rumiko Takahashi doesn't seem to be the, doesn't really seem to understand what a uh, healthy relationship is, but they go on their magical adventures fighting the demon Naraku. By the way, you can watch their terrible movies on YouTube that are just uploaded. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, anyways, okay. Um, Oma Mori Himari. You, you might not even have uh, <laughs> seen this. Okay, so I'll put this one up because the back cover is bad. But um, once again, high school, uh, they fight like... They, they don't even show the main character on the cover title, I think. Yeah. And um, it's just gratuitous fan service. But... Um, Yeah, once again in high school, like, this is a cat girl demon or something. I, I don't know. It's a weird story. Yeah. Um, but once again, high school. Um, oh, wait. Here's here's the same book. Sorry. Duh. Uh, One Piece. Um, I mean, to me, the... The thing that always struck me about this is like the females, they're always drawn, like the the males are drawn normally, but the female, like they, they did the hourglass figure and then like crank that crap up to like 15. And like, um, I don't know, I don't know. That as the thing goes on, it has like this weird obsession. Ichiro Oda seems to have this weird obsession with like making every character look unique. Like you're allowed to have background characters look the same. You know that, right? Like, I also don't mean to say something but like this is just a theory of mine but it, it sure seems like the guy that 
wrote or did the manga for uh, Fairy Tail, like copied One Piece's art style. Just a theory. I I I don't I I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. Ranma one half. He fell into a magic spring in China. The panda is his father, and he turns into this girl whenever they're splashed with cold water, and he turns back into a boy, or they turn in back into their original form when they're hit with hot water or steaming water. Um, but once again, the Rumiko Takahashi didn't really write a healthy relationship, at least in my eye, because like Ranma is very verbally and emotionally abusive to Akan. Akane, a cane. I, I'm sorry. I grew up calling her a cane, but whatever. Um, Soul Eater. This literally has to be one of, like the worst. Like I can't believe I spent money on this. Oh my god. I, I don't like this series, but once again, it takes place in high school. Um, Soul and what? What's her name? Like, the anime is god-awful. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so on IMDb, Soul Reaper. Um, uh, what's her name? Okay, Maka. Maka and her scythe is Soul, but they're all, and her friends are all in high school, and they go to a Soul Reaper Academy, and, like, they... Soul and all the other death scythes or whatever. Like, they're trying to become death scythes. I, I don't know. They fight witches and whatnot. I, I really don't like it. Ugh. Okay. This one is weird. This one's called Shaman King. I mean, it also seems slightly cultural appropriation i don't know like the guy stopped making this series and his art is weird man like oh my god like, so it's this guy yo asakura and his wife uh anna or something um like, this guy has a samurai ghost, and he fights this, his half-brother that gets reincarnated and is evil. Uh, and he's trying to become God or Jesus or whatever. I mean, I don't know, it's, a, it's a weird show, man. Toradora. Light novel. Once again, in high school. Um, I really like the anime. I mean, it's between Taiga and Ryuji on the back. Um, of like how they fall in love, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it literally ends with them running away in their last high school year and at least the anime ends with them graduated from high school and saying like they love each other but like it started with a headbutt and it ends with a headbutt and apparently they get married or whatever even though she's like four foot six or whatever right i don't know i'm sorry the Devil is a Part-Timer. Um, literally, the King of Demons, Satan, comes from Ente Isla, and the hero that was 
opposed to him. Uh, I, I don't even remember her name. Uh, anyways, um, there's a high schooler. So it's kind of like a love triangle. Um, like this girl, the hero, Amelia, the hero is a tsundere, like a stock photo of a tsundere, but at least she's an interesting character. This girl, I don't even remember her name, but like she is, yeah, she's like 16, but the bazongas. Okay, now we get to my anime stack. Okay, um, Weathering With You. Um, it's a movie. Um, they are in high school. They fall in love or whatever and run away and they get hit with truancy or whatever. Um, Padma Inverted. This is a great movie, by the way. Um, they're in high school. Um, she's like literally upside down and he's right side up. And, you know, it's like a authoritarian, um, futuristic society that they kind of base their controlling aspect around the belief that if you stray from the society too much, your gravity will become inverted again or whatever. Um, <laughs> moving on, this is um, really weird. I, I mean, they're high school age-ish. Um, basically, this girl is a satellite that falls from space after falling in love with this guy's musical voice. Don't, don't ask me. Okay. Rising of the Shield Hero. Um, geeky University Student, now Fumi Iwatani. So it's a isekai. It's very popular. The guy's a 20 something year old loser that gets magically transported from college life to this new world and like is the shield hero and you know the story it, it's yeah okay so Toradora um, for whatever reason I only have the UK edition thanks Amazon so I have to buy a American edition so I can play it on my stupid PS4 because you can only change the region coding a certain number of times blah 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 it's only about 28 episodes but here I'm gonna I'm gonna see how expensive it is but um Toradora is honestly one of my favorite, most favorite anime. Once again, they're in high school, but uh, the story goes is that Taiga loves Ryuji's best friend and Ryuji loves uh, Taiga's best friend, Tora, Dora, anime. Um, okay, so you can buy it. You can buy the anime collection. I guess it's only the DVD collection, but it is going for $34. So I would say that's a really, like this came out all the way back in 2008. I don't know, but it's a really good series. I, I would highly recommend you see this. Um, Code Geass, the entire series, I mean, this box is terrible. Like all the Blu-rays are constantly falling out, but at least the first season is good. Um, 
Code Geass R2. That that is like the worst. Like they literally just rebooted this series. God, no. Don't don't watch the second season. It is god awful. Um, it's like bad fan fiction. And apparently they they've made a third one. So I I don't know. Um, but once again, it takes place in high school. Lelouch is given a godlike power by this green-haired chick that constantly dies, C2. They don't really explain anything about her besides she's immortal. And uh, he has to fight the his father um, that oddly looks like George Washington or something. Um, Charles Z. Britannia. Fun fact, Britannia is actually the United States. Like, look up map of Britannia, and you'll see it's um, America. Okay, um, future diary. Long story short, once again, I hated this anime. And apparently the part is infamous where this girl kidnaps uh, this guy. They they both have future diaries, but uh, I tried watching it, man. I did not like it. Um, your name, uh, just another, I think they switch bodies, but they somehow fall in love. And once again, they're in high school. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, Devil is a part-timer. Why haven't they made a season two, man? Like, I love this series. Like, ugh, okay. I'm like collecting all the light novels now. I I don't know where they're going to go with the series because apparently um, the Demon King and Amelia the Hero... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Mal. So uh, Mal and Amelia get a child or something from Ente Isla and have to take care of it. I, I don't know. It's the, the light novel is weird. Isekai Quartet. So it's literally where they took four different anime series and stuck them in a high school. Wow. How original. Um, I don't even know who these are. This is, uh, this is like the, my life at, this is the isekai where the guy's like a overlord or something. This is, um, Konosuba, um, overlord, re-zero. ReZero is like, uh, where it's like all the people fighting for the Holy Grail or whatever, um, you know, figures from history. And then Saga of Tanya the Evil. I, I don't really know what that show's about. I, I haven't seen this. Once again, takes place in high school. Don't watch this. It's called like Moon Phase or something. I, I bought this at a DVD shop. It was cheap, and it was like the whole series, so I thought I'd like it. Don't watch that. Like, just don't. Dragon Ball. Z. Um, unpopular opinion. Dragon Ball, uh, what? What's it called? Dragon Ball Super is like the worst fan fiction I've ever written, and... I've watched Dragon Ball GT. That's still better than there. Don Gun Rampa. Um, what do you know? It takes place at high school. It's a murder mystery thing series where you have to investigate your classmates to. This was actually a game on a PlayStation Portable, a doomed system from the start. Because they couldn't compete with the Nintendo DS because Sony 
doesn't know how to make a portable game system ish. Avatar, the last airbender. I mean, they're high school age ish. Which weird is canonically he starts out at 12 years old. But by the end of the series, he like is about to get married to Katara. By, by the way, I'm a very big, um, what is it, Zutara? Yeah, I'm a very big Zutara fan. Like, Aang was a stupid child, and Katara deserved better. And it seems like she was a lot closer to Zuko. But that's a rant for another time. My bride is a mermaid. This guy, uh, what's his name? Nagasumi Machishiro gets saved from drowning by his bride to be um, uh, Sun Seto. This anime is very weird. Um, I will give it points because it changes up its art style a lot. And it's a pretty good comedy. Uh, the last two episodes get really weird, really dark, and um, yeah. Watch up to episode 24, but then just say you watch the last two episodes and <laughs> just say they get married. She like gets kidnapped and like drugged. Uh, and then her family gets arrested or whatever, or gets put in prison. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't like it. I don't like the last two episodes. And then... <laughs> Have you even heard of this? It's called I Buy Me Strawberry Eggs. Um, this is probably the weird, weirdest show, but um, yeah, I don't know. The teacher lady's kind of hot, so I guess that's why I bought it. I haven't even seen that series, but whatever. Um, anyways, um, this has been your host, Luke. Tell me your thoughts down below. I'm sure I have hurt somebody's feelings. I, I don't know. It's just a YouTube video, man. Stay cool. And I've been meaning to make this video for a while, so I'm glad I finally made it. But remember, who really knows why so much anime takes place in high school? I'll never know. You'll never know. We'll never know. None of my videos reach Japan anyways, so. Whatever. Most of my audience is in the U.S. Who knew? Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Check out my podcast, Reptilian Insider News. Peace out.